What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and today Blakey is actually going to be making his perfect football boot taking his favourite parts from every boot, every brand on the entire market and at the end of the video we're actually going to be seeing what it looks like and I have no idea what is coming up but Blake, kick us off with the first feature. So today I am playing Frankenstein and one of the most important parts of a football boot is the sole plate. We've got the hyper stability of the Tiempo sprint frame from the Ace or the contoured nylon from the Mercurial sole plate. I actually like all these three sole plates, but the hyper stability and the sprint frame are just too flat. The reason, I'm gonna go for the contoured nylon because it actually mirrors the shape of your foot very, very nicely. I'm gonna go with contoured nylon. But what about you guys? Blake went for the contoured nylon, but out of the three options, vote in a poll card now for your own preferred option. We've just had sole plates for responsiveness, but what about high level traction? We've now got the studs. What are the three options? So the studs on the Mercurial sole plate I'm gonna go for. We've got the Hybridum, the Tiempo, or the Everpower. Now Hybridum has three types of traction. We've got chevron, we've got bladed, and hexagonal studs on that sole plate. On the Tiempo, it's mostly hexagonal, and on the Everpower, they're very, very small conical and bladed studs. All very good studs. I'm gonna go for the Hybridum because it has three types of traction in terms of accelerating, braking, and streamlined sprint speed. I'm going to hybrid. We've had underfoot responsiveness and also traction, but now a crucial fact of any football boot which is personal to you is the actual fit of the last of the boots. So what are the three options? So me personally, I'm someone with very, very wide and high feet. So the last shape is very, very important. The Evo Power has a very, very wide last. The Hybrid and Magista are roughly the same, but today I'm gonna to go with the Evo Power last because it has a much more rounded toe box. It's gonna suit my midfoot much better than the Hybrid and Magista. Without doubt, one of the most important factors for me when I'm picking out a pair of football boots is the actual upper, because I'm all about the way the ball feels on top of the foot. Now, what are the three options that you've actually picked out? So uppers is all to do with comfort. I've chosen for three very high grade materials. We've got Flynet from Nike's Boots, we've got Thin Synthetic from the X17 Plus Pure Speed, and K Leather from the Rebula, and a lot of leather foot boots on the market today. All very high grade. I could go with K Leather because it's very, very supple, comfortable, no break in time. But today, I'm going with Synthetic with Flynet. I think Flynet's very, very responsive, comfortable material for an upper. Well, Blaze for flying it but what about you guys massive talking point this one is the upper vote for your favorite in the poll card we've just had the upper but what's actually happening inside in terms of technology which gives you a specific touch on the ball now because i've chosen flying it i have to look at nike's flying it models we've got speed ribs from the mercurial pods from the hybrid and dimples from the magista now all very high grade and all actually very very different speed ribs is all to do with responsiveness and friction on the ball Pods are really designed to provide much more protection and much more cushioning when striking the ball, especially on the hybrid. And dimples is a very, very good thing for passing, receiving, and striking the ball as well. I'm gonna go with dimples based on the fact that it's gonna provide a much more comfortable playing experience when you're touching and striking the ball. We've had the upper, we've had inside the upper, but now we've got that finishing layer on top. So that surface layer, the upper texture, all these upper textures actually very very nice we've got smooth like what you get on the titan vapor 11 we've got dotted nsg what you get on the x17 plus pure speed it's slightly more rougher than the smooth titan upper you get on the vapor 11 we've also got a matte finish and so a matte finish is seen on the academy pack boots by nike football i rate it very highly and that's the reason i'm going for that because it provides a bit of both between smooth and dotted nsg i think dotted nsg is just too grippy for me i'm going with the matte finish of the academy pack Nike boots. Inner linings time, and this is all about comfort when you're laced up inside of the boot. So which three have you actually picked out? So I've chosen three different inner linings themselves. Super thin, like what you get on the Mercurial. Suede, like what you get on the A17 Plus Pure Control and A17.1. And padded foam, like what you get on the Magista Obra. Now, super thin and suede are actually quite similar, but the biggest difference is the padded foam is actually quite thick. Very, very lightweight and very, very comfortable. I'm going with padded foam because I went for Flynet and that potted upper texture from the Magista, padded foam for me. But what about you guys? Do you want the barefoot super thin, the luxurious suede or the very cushioned padded foam? Vote in a poll card now. How many times have you guys heard the word responsiveness used when a new football boot has been released? Now that is what the midfoot is all about. So Blake, pick out your favorite. Now midfoot technologies such as flower, like what you get on the flyknit models of Nike boots. We've got the inner wrap, like what you get on the A70 Plus Pure Control or the pure cut cover of the X70 Plus Pure Speed. I'm definitely not going for the pure cut cover because I've got wide and high feet. It's not gonna be great for that. 
the inner wrap is not really, really responsive. I could have it in my boot, but it does mean I'll need a laceless design. I'm going with Flower because I've chosen for Flynet, that potted texture and that Nike matte finish. I'm going with Flower today. I'll probably go for Flyer Wire as well, but this is actually quite a big one because when you're lacing up the boots, you need it to feel right. So what about you guys? Flyer Wire, inner wrap or the Pure Cup cover? Vote in a poll card. Hands down, when we're talking about forward boots in 2017, the biggest talking point is the silhouette of the boots. So many crazy shapes coming out. So Blake, what are the three that you've actually picked out? So the three I've chosen is obviously that mid-cut design, the dynamic fit collar on Nike's models. We've got that low-cut design, that really traditional design. 10 years ago, you'd have seen low-cut everywhere, and that semi-mid-cut is the one which is sort of half-collar. So it's sort of like what Cristiano Ronaldo does with his cut dynamic fit collar, but it's from the Flynet Vapor. It's the same as that Tedfoot collar you see on the X70 Plus Pure Speed and X17.1. Which one am I going for? I don't really rate that mid-cut dynamic fit collar. It's just too high for me and low cut. I could have gone for that, but today I'm going with the semi mid-cut of the Flynet Vapor. But what about you guys? Out of the three options, vote in the pile card now for your preferred option. Turning the boots around to have a look at the hill, we're going to be talking about the hill counter options because this is all about lockdown. So there's two types of hill counters, we've got internal and external. Internal is a very modern day hill counter, it's an internal system, it's not going to provide much lockdown like what you get on the external hill counter. External hill counters are better for protection and lockdown of the hill itself. Today, because I've gone for that flying upper, I'm going to go internal. Now onto a small difference that can make a massive difference and that is their lacing systems. So I have gone with a laced system. I could have gone for a laceless system, but today I'm going with a lacing system, central, off-center or off-center as well. So off-center with the hybrid or off-center with the Magista, one towards the medial and one towards the lateral. Central is something I usually go for because I have wide feet. I can actually customize the laces with that fly wire. It's going to be perfect for my wide feet. But today I'm going with that off-center lacing system because it's going to provide a much larger striking surface, the one with the hybrid. Let's get serious. When we're picking out a new pair of football boots, a massive factor is how they actually look, the colorway that the brand has actually put on their boots. Now, Blake, you've got three favorites, so what are they? So it's all about personal preference. I've got black in each option here. Volt yellow and black, blackout or red and black. I actually really, really rate blackout. Blackout's a really, really nice understated colorway. Red and black, you can't go wrong with the Predator or Volt yellow and black. I mean, absolutely have a soft side for Volt Yellow, so I'm going with Volt Yellow and Black. But what about you guys? Me personally, I think I'll go red and black, but vote in a poll card now for your favorite colorway out of the three. A couple of minimalistic features are what? So the swoosh, I've pretty much gone for a Nike full boot. It's clear with the features I've chosen. Do I want the traditional on side on the Magista and the Tempo, or do I want on top, like what you see on the Hybrid and the Mercurial? I'm going with the traditional one with the Magista and Tempo with the swoosh on the side. And this last feature is a small one, it's Sock Liner Comfort, Lightweight or Boost. Today, I'm gonna to go for the Adidas Boost Sock Liner because I think it's very lightweight, it's flexible, and it's also very comfortable. But guys, this is it. I promise I haven't seen it so far. This is Blake Frankenstein creation, and I'm having it. I think that's a smash. Talk us through it. Talk us through it. I've gone for a yellow and black colorway, as I mentioned before. I think it looks really sharp with that chrome sole plate. I'm going to go with the chrome sole plate over a standard matte design. A mid semi cut collar, because I think it's a really, really perfect mix of a low cut and a mid cut design. Off center lacing, like what you see on the Harvard, so a larger striking surface. Flywire cables for responsiveness. You have to have flywire when you've got a flyknit upper. Magista lining is very, very comfortable inside the boot. A matte texture for touch and feel. A 3D potted surface like what you see on the Obra. It's going to help with that Magista inner lining with that foam. Mercurial sole plate for responsiveness with those chevron and bladed studs you see on the Hyvedum. Overall, I think it's a very, very responsive boot. Boost salt liner, internal counter. Again, it's going to be very lightweight. It's going to be very high performing. As well as that, it's going to be very comfortable. And of course, colorway is a smash. Well, there's no doubt about it. That is a beautiful football boot that Blake has actually created. And hopefully Nike can actually recreate this for Blakey one day. But what we want to know is what boot would you guys actually create? So all the information, put it in the comment section below. But that's it all wrapped up for the day. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as always. We'll see you next time.